Yo, what's going on guys? Obi here, back with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a multi-TC stacked wall base. And in this base, you can make the core completely armored and the outer completely sheet metal if you wanted. And the upkeep would be super low still. If we quickly go inside, you can have six furnaces here. You can have an oil refinery and then you can have six more furnaces. You can place hemp or pumpkins in between these areas. And then here is the core with TC that you can make completely armored. But before I hop into the base tutorial, I just want to say thank you guys for 20k subs. It really means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying my content. And my next video that'll come out this weekend will most definitely be my best series yet because we went on some crazy raids and the content is just amazing. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my next couple videos. But enough talking, let's get right into the base tutorial. So today I am on PC Rust and I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I built the base. Now, even though I'm on PC Rust, it's gonna work exactly the same on console because I've already tested it and you've already seen it in my last video, if you haven't already. Now, there's a bunch of different ways that you can make a base with more than one TC, but the foundation I got for this base design was made by a guy named Evil Worst. I'm gonna put the link to the video in the description, but the foundation of the base is the only thing I got from him. So the first thing you're gonna wanna start with is a triangle foundation, and then you wanna build three square foundations off the sides of the uh, triangle. So to not get confused with the next steps, because it's the most important part probably, I recommend putting walls around these um, right away, but then leave one opening to where you want the doorway. And most of the time I like to make it a double door because once you get double doors, you'd rather have garage doors here or armored doors because this is gonna be the core of your base. So I'd recommend having uh, double doors throughout this whole thing in the, in the beginning. But the next thing you wanna do is come out to these corners and you wanna build out, you wanna put two triangles, two square foundations, and then a triangle in between just like that. And then from this triangle, you wanna go eight squares out. And you see how I get too low to the ground, so all you have to do with that is to put it up one just like that to continue it on. And once you build eight squares out, you want to destroy all these, even the ones that you placed up against the beginning part. You grab triangle foundations and you do four half circles. So one, two, three, four, and then you finish with a triangle and two square foundations like that. So the foundations are not touching the, the core, but they're right up against it. Once you do that, you destroy these uh, triangle foundations that you placed. And then you build six foundations out and you can place another TC. But don't forget when you build the base, you have to have a TC in the core first. And then you can put these outer TCs. Because if you put the outer TCs first, then you won't be able to place a TC in the middle here. And now you want to repeat this step on this side and this side as well. Now that I have my external TCs up, you can kind of do whatever you want with the base because now, as long as your TCs are spread out or as long as your upkeep is spread out, then you can make this entire inner part completely armored if you wanted to. Because this TC is only gonna have to worry about the um, foundations that are inside here. Now, the only issue with this base that I don't really like is the fact that to fill these gaps in between, 
the only way to really go around it is putting two triangles like this. So you have to have this gap in the floor no matter what, because there's no way to put a triangle foundation. It's good and bad because that leaves you space to put furnaces or stashes, or maybe you could plant seeds like cloth or pumpkins. As well as these little nooks here, what I like to do with these, so you're gonna have openings here for each one. What I like to do for these is throw furnaces in here, or I even like to throw oil refineries in here because they fit. So you can have them in these little holes and you're gonna have three of them on uh, all sides. Or you should be able to fit around six furnaces in each one. And in here, you don't have to have the TC in the middle. You can have it like in a corner and then make one of these sides a loot room or something. But now I'm gonna continue the base and I'm gonna create the second and third floor. So what I like doing is having doors out of the base to all the external TCs. This is a bird's eye view. So if you want to copy the exact foundation, then this is the best way to do it. Okay, and a lot of people like to complain about the giant uh, holes in the walls and I completely agree with you because if you didn't have like a compound, then people can easily see through your walls and they can even shoot you through there because there's a pretty big gap. So the best way to fix that is to take rugs, just like that. And then there's no way they can see into the base. So for the first floor, you can just have garage doors throughout this entire part. And then for the second floor, probably create a little bit of honeycomb. In all the triangles. And then if you want to put something in these little triangle areas, you can, like maybe a fridge or like one box and crates. But always, if you're not, but if you're not gonna put a wall there for full honeycomb, then you at least have to have a uh, door here. So if you're a big clan, then all these square foundations out here will be loot rooms. But if you're like a solo or a duo, then you could probably honeycomb off all these. You can honeycomb it off completely like this. Then only have these two foundations for loot room, for loot rooms right here, and even wall this off. So these two loot rooms, these two will be loot rooms, and those will be the most protected spots in the entire base. Because if you fly up, well, these these three foundations are the most important, or the um, most secured foundations in the entire base. So if you're not a huge clan, then I'd recommend putting loot rooms on these square foundations off of the middle triangle. But if you're a big clan, then you're gonna need way more space. So the second floor is where the loot room is on this base. And then like I said, if you're a big clan, then you're most likely gonna need a third floor for even more loot. Even if you're a duo or a trio, you're probably gonna need a third floor, depending on if you use the honeycomb or you just make a big second floor loot room. But I'm not gonna make another loot room floor, so this next floor is gonna be the shooting floor. So what you want to do is put um, square ceilings on all the triangle foundations. So then you'll have it like this. And the cool thing about this base is when you have stacked walls, is that all of a sudden you get little peek downs like this in between your ceilings, which is kind of cool. 
What I personally like to do is place uh, two windows on all these real quick. And then I place walls on the outsides of each one. And then the rest are windows. And then that would be your shooting floor. And then what you would do, and then what I would do also, is make one big wall around your shooting floor walls. All right, so that's everything in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Normally, if I was really going to build this base, I would give it another floor, and then I might even put another layer of honeycomb around it. But this base is perfect if you want your entire base sheet metal and then your core armored with little cost. So it's really the best base design for upkeep. And when it comes to my clan, that's what we're big on because we don't like to constantly farm every single day for 30k metal and 30k stone for our huge base. We like to have spread TCs and spread our upkeep so we don't need to go farm all day long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I made it clear enough for you guys to build it on your own. If you have any questions, I'll be answering most of the comments. So leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer you back. Thank you guys so much for 20k subs. Peace out and I'll catch you guys in the next one.